Welcome back for more Pokemon White. Today we're gonna do uh We're gonna rematch Chain since we lost last time. Okay, uh... I'm being cheering yet. I just said we need to rematch him. So what did I do? Try and to gym anyway. I tried, I tried saying please. I said please and he still didn't let me in. Attempt to at the spell. Chan's gonna start off with Snivy, pure grass type, level 8, with moves Tackle, Tail Whip, and Vine Whip, Low Belly Overgrow, and an Orn Berry. So we're gonna use Incinerate. We're gonna just set this thing on fire. We're a tad bit over level, but we lost to the spell, so I don't care. Oh, I forgot Incinerate does that. Okay, so this is actually a perfect example of something. Incinerate has a special effect where it will burn uh, enemies held item. Moves, attacking moves can like have sec- ev any move actually can have secondary effects. Some of them helpful, some of them not. Some of them weird. But yeah. Uh, Paraline, pure dark type, level 8, with moves Scratch, Growl, and Assist. The ability is Limber, and it has Ornberry. So the move Assist basically randomly selects a move from your entire team for Paraline use. I'm gonna switch. No, I'm not gonna switch Oshawa, because I don't want overlevel him. If Pants here can just help me destroy Chan real quick, that's fine. I'm gonna use this Pants here in the gym as well. Mainly because the gym leader is actually pretty tough from what I remember. We got orange berries. I'm gonna put that on Snivy. Ash, what? I saw Snivy in my notes, so I said if I had Snivy. Good job. At the beginning of the episode, you saw on the graphic that I do, in fact, have an Oshawa. Okay. Yeah, so cool thing about this gym is the gym leader will actually change based on your starter. Only by one Pokemon though, but it's pretty cool. The music in this game just gives gets you so pumped. I love Generations 5 music. It is so amazing. So in every, every gym you'll have gym leader, gym trainers, and a puzzle will do. This one is basically uh, match type ups. It's actually pretty neat. Okay, let's destroy this little pup. 
So, Ordis so this now weird move basically allows normal types hit ghost types. It's weird because it's useless. Because here's the thing about normal types. Normal types have a huge move pool. So, like, you're wasting an additional move slot, just use a normal type move. When you can teach yourself a ghost type move, a psychic type move, a dragon type move, any type move. Heck, even an ice type move would be better th in that situation than using two move slots. F just use a normal type move and a ghost type. That's my way of all this uh, over with. We're actually going to use uh, those potions up. Okay. Petrat? Nice. So, the weird thing about this gym, though, is every trainer has these low level without one Pokemon. And I, I kind of see why they did it, but it would have been pretty cool if they actually adjusted gym trainers, too, based on what you're weak to. Or even what you're strong against. This gym's about teaching type matchups, and why not utilize that even more? Be fair, that's what your rivals teach with those last two battles, but... Like... If they double-dipped years already, so why not go fully all the way with it? That's my opinion on it, though. Okay. Let's use that potion. Again. And get ready for the gym leader. Chili, Siren, and Crest all open up with Lollipop. Pure normal type, level 12, with moves Bite and Tail Whip, with the ability of Pickup. This Gym Leader music is amazing. I'm gonna just be quiet for it.
of your balance island, this will be Pan Sage, Pure Grass, Sight Level 14, Fine Whip and Work Up with Gluttony for its ability. If you're battling Cress, it will be Pan Pour, Pure Water Type, Level 14, Water Gun, Work Up and Gluttony. And if you're battling Chili, it will be Pan Seer, Pure Fire Type, Level 14. Incinerate, Worker, and the Belly Gluttony. So, since we have Ashwa out, we're gonna still just attack with Ashwa. It's not gonna do much. Yeah, Ashwa's gonna go down faster than Pan Siege. But, we're gonna just. Yeah, that'll be the last tech we do, because I still want experience on Oshawa. We're gonna switch out to Pants here, and finish this off. And with that, we win our first gym leader battle. Pansy, enjoy your level up, you earned it. So work up increases your attack and special attack by one stage. It's actually gonna be taught to Ashwa if I can land it. And here's the thing, we have infinite use TMs. Ashwa cannot learn it, sad. But there's some Pokemon I'm thinking about adding to a team that could utilize that. Okay, so this is for content we can't even do because I'm not playing on actual DS. Right, that we can use. Right, never mind. I thought it was for something else, but. We didn't care about that cutscene, to be honest, did we? <laughs> I just thought it was something funny I'm gonna do. If I did it, <laughs> you'll now know why. We're gonna just use Pansier for HMs. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I wonder, would we be able to get that far? Hmm. 
So I'm trying to think a little bit ahead. This is not about going away. Bianca's done ambushing you right now. It's a Muna. Right. That first battle against Team Plasma. Right. Good chat. Okay. Pretty easy Pokemon to deal with. See, this Team Plasma member is using Bide because he saw Ashwa was like oh no he, he was just paralyzed with fear Okay. Pretty easy. Okay, let's cut back. While we're gone, I healed my Pokemon. But since this is for multiplayer stuff, we're gonna just... No, we can't even use it. We can't use it. Stop telling me about this. Thank you.
Okay. Back to the main content. I'm hoping... We don't get stopped by someone. Oh, battle. Cool. First double bow. That was very nice. <sighs> okay. Please don't get stopped. I got stopped. Hey. Another rival bell. Cool. So. Chan's gonna start off with Snivy. Pure Grass Sape, level 14, with the moves Growth, Leer, Fine Wit, and Wrap. With a belly overgrow and an oil bay. This is a good lead to have. Ooh. It's probably gonna go for a vine whip here. So. Pants here. Got yeah, another level, but I don't think they'll matter that much in this battle. I mean, it might. At least I can't heal. Ooh, raising. Your stats. Okay. Oh, were we speed tied this whole time? Interesting. Okay. Snavy Zim. Paraline, pure dark type, level 14, fury sweeps, growl, assist, and sand attack with the ability on burden. I was trying to think if I want to switch out Ashwat. Well, I might have to. I'm gonna have to. Cool. But I'm not really worried about Pan's here. Oh, it's level 12, not level 14. Ooh, my graphics. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to fix it. Right. Down per line goes.
Oh, Team Plasma is messing with us again. Let's grab that item and go after them. But we're not going to finish going after them this episode. There's one thing I do want to do before we end it off. Hopefully we're not thrown immediately in about oh, wait, we're not. I wanna capture something here. A second team member, Wagenroller. So, Wagenroller is uh, both a physical wall and a physical attacker. Eh? Uh, once it evolves at level 17, you just trade it, or what I'll be doing is use PK Hex to evolve it. Um, has the ability steady, has perfect catch rate. Coin to both. No, not paper catch rate. Fifty percent catch rate. Two fifty-five out two fifty-five means fifty percent. It's a, a pure rock type. It's pr it's very very good with one thirty defense and one thirty-five attack base, and its final form. That's amazing. So yeah, welcome to our team. Okay. I'm gonna have to try to weaken it. You know, with how high its defense is, what gun shouldn't kill it? Wait, why gun special though? That's actually good that it didn't land then. This is gonna take forever to weaken in it. Is that enough? Please say yes. And there we go. Our second team member. Yeah, I want to nickname him. Yeah, I want to do a little bit of pun. Wait, uh, oh, we'll save in here. So with that, we have a second team member, Rock and Roller, and that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. You get a super potion because you've been good. See you guys then.